Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we go on a handgun hunt with the Performance Center Model 460 XVR, followed by showing you Conquest Sense new Heat Seeker. And finally, we'll do some rattling during the peak of the rut. All this and more coming up on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. On this episode, we continue to showcase the wonders of handgun hunting. Tony Mealy from the Performance Center of Smith & Wesson has come down to the ranch to put the Performance Center handguns to work, and he did just that. He's already taken down one good-looking buck with his Performance Center Model 629-44 Magnum Hunter, and after a morning sit at a stand called the Amphitheater, he's ready to go back out there. So this morning we were... Uh at this blind, it was a real nice blind. Uh, we were there probably three, three and a half hours. Uh, a lot of bucks came in. We had one uh, eight pointer in there. He had a little fork on the split G2 there. And uh, yeah, we thought about taking him and we passed on him this morning. If he comes back in tonight, well, that might be a different story though. So we're hunting with a Performance Center 460, uh, 10 and a half inch barrel fiber optic sights, great action. Uh, and the ranges that we're shooting at, at this stand are, are you know, by and large, not a problem. It's gonna, it's gonna drop that deer probably right in its tracks. So we look forward to get back in there tonight and get it done. Uh, we're going back to the exact same stand we set at this morning because we saw so much, you know, pre-rut activity. Deer working scrapes, chasing each other, posturing. We saw fights there. And the scouting cameras show that it's a, you know, about anything could show up here at any given time. So the confidence is really high there. And it's a perfect setup for the handgun that Tony's hunting with. You know, he's got a 460 out of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center that he's gonna be using. And probably our longest shot in this scenario could be 60, 65 yards right in his wheelhouse with that red dot on there. So we're gonna settle in, let the sun go down and see what comes out and maybe we'll get lucky. We get into the blind, get all set up, and we, we couldn't have been there more than 10 minutes and this, this little four pointer come out. And the next thing you know, a couple of does come out and uh, we're probably there about an hour, maybe an hour, 10 minutes, the bully comes back, he's walking around, pushing, pushing everybody around. And uh, Wade gives me a little tug on the arm. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, they don't go too far once you hit them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. He was a little high, though, I think. Oh, uh, you smoked him. Yeah. <laughs> you flat out smoked him. You crushed him. The difference in those two deer is probably two years. I mean, you could see the difference. I and, mean, you know, we talked about how dominant that, that other deer was. It yeah. ran everything around. And did you see how? cow down that other deer was that you know we had looked at and seen i mean yeah. when that deer there came in he's like you are the one <laughs> that's an awesome eight point right there we got scouting camera pictures of that deer you know that's the deer we saw in the picture i was showing you i said that's okay so that's the one who that's said that's the on the road yeah. yeah that was him that we had that picture of him walking down the road that's awesome great shot <laughs> and it's only 424 <laughs> Time for supper. 82 degrees. <laughs> if we'd have been sitting under the air condition, we'd have got nothing. <laughs> well done, Tony. The 460 <laughs> speaks. <laughs> the 460 speaks. <laughs> it's amazing how quick they were in here tonight, though. Well, it, you know, we just sat down there right there. They bed right around this. I mean, it, you know, why go anywhere else? This is a perfect little oasis down behind us where a lot of these deer come. You know, you can walk down that trail, you'll see if you, it drops, if you go right down that trail right there, it drops off and it's a creek bottom. And it's just, I mean, you made the comment we were driving the Viking through the bottom, how cool yeah. it felt. That's what it is down there. So, this is the hole <laughs> the amphitheater produced. <laughs> We're tracking today. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> the Viking goes. <laughs> That's a big old body deer right there. I mean, look at his body from here. <laughs> well done, Tony. <laughs> you know, it's always it's always great to make an ethical shot. You know, have the, the animal just drop right where it was standing. The animal doesn't suffer. That's that's a lot more pleasure to me uh, to make sure I got the job done the way it should be done. And uh, it's exciting. Uh, I can't wait to get back here and do it again. That's awesome. I mean. You knock them down like that. That is awesome. <laughs> that is a big, old, mature deer. Visit smith-wesson.com and click on Performance Center to take a deeper look into the world of hunting handguns. Hey, Deer Gear fans, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for current hunting tips, gear, giveaways, and more. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to send us a message, and we'll try to answer it in a show or reply right back. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. The rut is the most time-sensitive part of deer season, where bucks set aside caution and focus on finding a doe in heat. Conquest Sense has come out with Heat Seeker, an innovative way for you, the hunter, to see when and where a doe is in heat, telling you exactly where to camp out in search of Mr. Buck. So this is what the strip looks like when you first start, and then you're gonna be putting some of the Heat Seeker liquid on there, and you're gonna basically cover this entire square. And once you deploy the card into an area, what you're wanting is obviously a reddish color to pop up. And when you look at the entire setup here, this plastic bag or plastic covering is designed to keep that scent cone going up. So whatever has happened in this area is gonna go across our test strip and trigger it and tell us good or bad. You know, when I look at this particular scrape that I'm looking at right here, um, I stomped on it because I know there's a couple of big bucks have been working this area. So I just was kind of curious on it. But to me, when I look at this, it's not super active from, you know, I don't, this, the sign is not real good. There's stuff that has fallen off of this tree down on there. It's not, there's not recent scrape marks in there. So I'm not surprised that the heat seeker didn't actually turn fully red here. But I wanted to check because I want to know what's happening in this particular area. And that's where as a hunter, this is going to be such a valuable tool. You can help eliminate locations by getting a negative reading as well as when you get a positive, you know you're right where you want to be hunting. You know, I talk all the time about hunting areas where there's lots of does because when you are in the rut, you want to be in those high percentage areas. Well, we're in one of those high percentage areas and we definitely know now in looking at our heat seeker that we've got a doe in this area that is, is ready to be bred. I mean, you can see it here. And the idea in this scenario is the doe's gonna come to this scrape or on a trail or a feeding area and she's gonna urinate and then that estrus, that smell is gonna be in there. When you put this bag over it, it's gonna come up out of there and activate this and that's what you're looking for. So we hit several locations and we got no results. Now we've hit an area that I personally know there was several does in, I had some scrapes there, but I'm kind of thinking in my mind, I'm past that period. I'm past the period where a lot of these does are gonna be 
in esters where they're going to be really receptive to be breeding, but obviously not. So that tells me exactly what I need to do is climb up in that stand and I'd hope that doe leads one of those big old bucks right on by. It's just another great tool from Conquest Sense to help you be more successful when it comes time to go hunting. You know, most every hunting camp that you go to has got that table, it's got that pile of goodies and gear out there that, that hunters are always using and, and ours is no different. I always keep a lot of stuff out here. I've got shooting sticks for people, uh, extra Conquest Sense, got my scouting cameras. One of the most important items I think that we have out here 12 months out of the year is our Sawyer uh, insect repellent. You know, this is designed to treat your clothing and gear. So when somebody first comes into camp and we're kind of doing our orientation for the week to come, I'll actually spend time talking about here's what's going on guys, here's the conditions that we're dealing with out there and right now we've got a lot of bugs in the area. If you'll take some of this and treat your clothing right now, it'll be ready for the entire week. So this is something that you actually spray on your clothes and it's effective for up to six washes. A lot of people are very concerned about insect repellent and what it's going to do in the field, maybe spooking their deer. This is actually odorless, so when you're preparing, make sure you've got something like this Sawyer geared up and on your clothing so you're going to be able to be comfortable out there, you're not going to spend your time swatting bugs, and you're going to be odorless. Visit Sawyer.com to learn more about their insect repellents. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. Stealth Cam. Proven. Conquest Sense. Hunting and Dog Sense. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos when the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all-new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. During the summer months, it is important to maintain your constant supply of food and protein to your deer as the warm weather can take a toll on a deer's nutrition. Wade has something new to show you from Purina that will help in supplying protein to your deer and our friends at Mummies have answered your most asked questions on keeping up with deer management. Let's hear from them now. Mummies is your one-stop shop. Besides being the largest Purina antler max dealer in the nation, Mummies is known best for the cleanest apple scented deer corn available anywhere. If it's feasible, both financially and labor-wise, year-round feeding is absolutely the best time to feed deer protein pellets. This keeps those animals on a constant level of nutrition and the results will soon be very obvious. During spring and summer, March through September, this is antler growth and doe lactation times. Now is when you need to be feeding a 20% deer pellet, such as Purina Antler Max 20%. When September arrives and bucks shed the velvet off their antlers and fawns have switched over to a diet other than the does milk, now you can switch to a 16% pellet that is higher in fat such as Perino Rut and Conditioner. 
They no longer need the 20% protein, but will use the extra fat to get them through the harder winter months and the rut. Getting started on a supplemental feed program should be well thought out and executed. It helps you have an aerial map. Your protein feeder should be applied at a rate of one feeder for every 200 to 250 acres. These feeders should be evenly spaced across your property. Key points to look for are areas near water and cover. If hogs or cattle are present, your feeder sites will have to be fenced off. To do this, use 12 16-foot hog panels and 24 4-foot T-posts. Set a stake in a cleared area. Tie a rope with a finished length of 27 foot 6 inches over the stake. Pull tight and walk in a circle, spraying the ground at the end of the rope with spray paint. Now start setting posts at 8 foot intervals around the painted circle. After posts are set, stand up and wire your panels to them. Leave one post out of the center of a panel so that you can use that for a gate. You will end up with a circular pin that is approximately 60 foot across. When you first start filling your feeders, don't fill them completely up. It will take some time for that deer to get used to the new feeders and the new feed. Mix pellets 50-50 with quality deer corn when filling feeders. Also scatter some corn on the ground around the new feeders. Feeders should be checked and filled on a regular basis and should never be allowed to run completely out. Feeders should be maintained and feed kept fresh and dry. After the deer get accustomed to the new feeders and feed, cut the corn out completely. Varmints such as raccoons can be a problem and should be controlled. Come early August, put a good game camera on your protein feeders. You will find at this time most of the activity will be at night and will be mostly bucks. You can use these pictures to compare the antler size of known bucks from year to year. You will see a difference in both antler size and body condition. This information can be used in your management plans for harvest of either trophy or cull bucks for the upcoming deer season. For more knowledge on deer management and mummies, visit mummiesinc.com. You know, one of my favorite ways to be able to really get a feel and a sense for all the game in an area is put out something like this quick draw attractant block. And it's as simple as setting it out and coming back and checking the scouting cameras to see what's coming in. You know, in this location right here, you never know what's going to show up on the scouting cameras. I mean, it's generally a, a pretty wide range of, of game that shows up. For me, a lot of the benefits include being able to ensure that the deer are in good shape in those off-season, high heat, uh, high stress times of the year. It also plays a giant role in helping the, the does be able to find nutrition, to be able to feed their fawns. And for you guys in those areas that it's legal, you can place those out near and around your hunting areas to be able to hold deer. And finally, for you guys that are addicted to scouting cameras like I am, you can put them out in those areas and be able to see what's coming in and you'll be able to see instantaneous results once you get these blocks set out. Hey Deer Gear fans, get to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for current hunting tips, gear, giveaways, and more. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to send us a message and we'll try to answer it in a show or reply right back. Deer Gear is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, Ballistic Rated Eyewear. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Protect it or lose it. 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 Protect it or lose it.
Man vs. Nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow six inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10 Point. Ingles got the original high-performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. As we wrap up this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we've talked about deer management and we've also touched on the rut of deer season. So let's join Wade and Jeff Reynolds out at the ranch as they spend a day rattling to see if Jeff sees any shooters that he wants to harvest. You know, strategies for what we're looking at doing here. It's going to be covering a lot of ground. So we've got a pair of Yamaha side by sides going to be going out. We're going to cover a tremendous amount of ground. Uh, in some places, actually, we haven't even really hunted before. And the goal is going to be to get some areas where we can see a little bit. This is heavy Texas brush country. Uh, we'll ease up to some of the locations and then we'll hike, you know, maybe 100, maybe 200 yards and we'll sit down. We'll sit there for maybe five minutes and do nothing. We'll kind of let the environment settle down then I'll crash the antlers together aggressively and it's not uncommon right away at that first one to get a deer that may be bedded down or maybe cruising in the area to jump on his feet and come running in really fast. Then we'll grind the antlers together about every five minutes for about a 15-20 minute set at each location and just kind of see what we're pulling in from long distances. So it's kind of a multifaceted approach that it's going to be pretty aggressive. It's always exciting. There's always something going on when you're going rattling and I expect it to be pretty good. Conditions are about perfect. Definitely a younger deer, but boy, he was a good I think good he's a four-year-old deer. I think that's a deer we've seen up there at the other stand. I really do. As Wade and Jeff move to their next spot, let's take a closer look at the muzzle loader Jeff is hunting with, the Thompson Center Strike. This is a Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader. This is the newest and most innovative gun in our muzzle loading line. This gun comes with an Armor Knight finished barrel. In addition to that, this is a striker fired muzzle loader. To activate the main spring of this gun, you just push this forward. And if for some reason you can't get the shot off, all you have to do is push this button and it deactivates the main spring of the gun. It opens like an over and under shotgun. And as you can see, this is the adapt breech system. The threads are on the outside of the barrel. With a lot of muzzle loaders, you get a lot of buildup and fouling around the breech plug. And that's a lot of people's complaint. On this one, since the threads are on the outside of the barrel, you don't have to worry about that. For more information about the Thompson Center Strike Muzzle Loader, go to tcarms.com. As the day continues without any luck, it's time for a quick lunch break before heading back out. Sir? 
and it's, I don't know, 12, 15. We hit the field about seven today. And it's still dark when we pulled in. We've had a lot of encounters. We've had a few few strikeouts. I had to refortify and let everybody fuel up. We had a built-in grunt calls going on the last one. Everybody's stomach was growling so bad. <laughs> Four forty two. Four forty two? Yeah. Nine hours and forty two minutes. <laughs> it's a good hunt right there. It's been a day. That's a great hunt. A lot of encounters, quite a few strikeouts too. I mean you have bait them together. <laughs> you have you've cut more wood today than than most sawmills <laughs> have in a week. We got a few few damages and a few dings there. I think, you know how football players get dehydrated and get cramped <laughs> up? I didn't know that rattlers could get dehydrated and cramp up about two o'clock. I was like, I need water. <laughs> well, you don't go at it lightly. Because one time I thought you was going to knock the tree down that I was <laughs> leaning up against. Hey, you got to make them, make them come in close. Hey, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> it works. And they come, they come running. Let's go load up and go find some food. That will do it here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high viz. See what you've been missing. Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.